Hello, everybody, and welcome. And guess what? Today is more Gravity Falls. This is season two, episode six, Little Gift Shop of Horrors. And obviously, that seems like to be a reference to, you know, Little Shop of Horrors. Uh, you know, I, I believe that's a stage musical, right? I, I, I grew up watching the Rick Moranis uh, film uh, with Steve Martin. Uh, fantastic adaptation, by the way. I've seen videos of the stage play, but I loved the movie when I was a kid. But uh, but yeah, we're coming off of Seuss and the Real Girl. That was just a fun little romp starring Seuss. You were focusing on Seuss, which was really nice to see, especially a little, little more levity coming from Sock Opera. And then it looks like we're getting another horror theme thing here. So far, season two has been delving into the kind of horror territory here. You know, I'm here for it. I love horror. So that's an, that's an instant... That's an instant uh, thumbs up already for me. Uh, whether it's two thumbs up, I don't know. But uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. Let's watch. Little Gift Shop of Horrors, huh? Liking the music already. Ooh. Well, hello there, traveler. I see your car. Did they turn? Did they turn the the shack into a haunted house no one can hear or a haunted shop? Dreams. Pretend I didn't say that. Tales designed to sell my merchandise. <laughs> Tales designed to sell my merchandise. Okay. Are these going to be like short stories or something? Sorry, I was thinking of something funny I heard earlier. Meh. Hmm. Okay. All right. We'll see. We'll see what we're dealing with. All right. What do you got for me? Let's see. You've come to the mystery shack after hours. A time when mm. only our creepiest I'm all about the music. Objects are for sale, like that thing there. <sighs> no, not a fan. The hell is orifices. that? All right, I can One too many orifices. Is this disembodied hand? Why is it 500? So well, that's quite a tale, and it's called Hands Off. Now, uh, so it looks like we're getting no, Seriously, Hands Off, that's not for sale. Oh. Hands Off. Was that the Aya Sarn? So are we getting a bunch of like short stories then? Swap, swap meat. <laughs> They're all like her. Ooh. They agree with everything I say. Love the one on the left. They make me look like a genius. Yeah. Look at these faux gold beauties. They're mob boss quality. Mob boss quality. Oh, hello. Prepare to watch the delicate. This one looks uh, questionable. Hey, Hagface, how much for the junk watches? Don't call. They are not for sale. <laughs> not for you, Stan. They're not for a sale. <laughs> He's telling his witch I'm so shush. Anyway, let's talk even more watches. Ooh. Get your hands off my watch. Oh, wow. Their show. pupils disappeared. Someone needs to work on their social skills. All right. Their observation skills. Boom. Oh, you just stole. Hands. Well, no, he paid. Shop Wait, did he pay? From a witch? That sounded like a curse. That sounded like a curse. I swear he slapped money hey, down the table. Cheap, cheap we tires. Blanket for sale. <laughs> <laughs> I can't survive. Oh. All right. <sighs> Wait, is this curse ugly or normal ugly? <laughs> it's... <laughs> Looks like I, got I think it's normal. Uh, it's, it's normal. That's not normal. Ah! I love the continuity the of the S on the shack. <laughs> oh, ah! hello. Ah! Your what to your hands? <laughs> so I like appreciate that Mabel reacted accordingly to that. Foolish man, even hands find wicked face. Mm. You must return what is it yours. He's he rather not return the watch. Should apologize to me. <laughs> Denying my right to buy cheese. Carter crowed. Uh, the, the bacon. <laughs> Maybe, sweetie, will you make your uncle some hands? She's on it. La, 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 ah, I love him. Say hello to your new hands, end quote. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. I'm ready to take on the <laughs> Those things are ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> oh. Mabel, you tried. Hey, Mr. Pine, should we play toss me a dozen eggs like we always No. Do? No, Jimmy. Wait. Don't do it, Jimmy. Hey. Jimmy, no. <laughs> Let's find that witch. <laughs> yeah, right. 
Should have did that from the start. Oh, it's in the pamphlet. Uncle Stan, did you just tap my shoulder? No. Don't got... Don't got Hans. Oh my god, it... Oh my god, it's like Thing from Adam's Family! Oh, that's horrifying! <laughs> They're so grabby! Oh. <laughs> Never choose paper first, fools. <laughs> hey, that was good. I get it. That was funny. We all know. They made a throne. Oh, you're just making stuff up. Somebody kiss him. Oh, no. Is he kissing? Oh, no. Ew! Ugh. Ugh. What? Get it? I'm not kissing any of that mess. I don't need my hands that bad. Yeah, you're just making stuff up now. Right? Let's go, kid. Maybe because they're lonely. Oh, wait, don't go. You're right. You're right. I, I was just making all that stuff. The hands are doing a good job, though. That's quite the chair. So hard to meet people these days. Aww. It's kind of sad. This was all just a ploy to get a braided Mabel's hair. Okay, but every time I bring someone back here without keeping their hands hostage, they just run away. <laughs> well, yeah, look at this horror show. It's creepy. Spruce it up a little bit. Get some curtains. For example, get a rug. A handelabra. Oh, the hand with likes. Then watch me work. Oh, man, I guess... So, is she just gonna use the hands to decorate? Alright. Magenta, okay. Stan has a hammer. Alright, here's the reveal. Oh, the pedals are a nice touch. Move that bus! Doesn't look that bad. That actually looks pretty decent. Here's your hands back. Oh, right. Yeah, please. Oh. It's it's Stan. It's okay. It's Stan. Shaky, scratchy. <laughs> His names. You're all right, Shaky, sister. scratchy. Will you be my boyfriend now? No. no. Never. Well, invite someone else. Uh, back to my crippling oh, that's sad though. Hey, Hello. I'm lost in these mountains. Could I crash here for the night? Look at the chin hey, on this guy. Uh, Don't take his hands. Girl, are those space pants? <laughs> because your butt looks out of this world. No. Wow, thanks for noticing. Yes. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> I appreciate the, the goofiness this of this episode. Day. No. He doesn't look magic, but a baconings. <laughs> ah. A Waddles focused on? short story. Solve this test of intelligence and your photo could be on this box. Oh. That's Whoa. that's false advertising I can get behind. <laughs> that was a little surprising. Come on. That does not look fun to me. Ooh, that's a bummer. This is May May and the Hog. May May and the Hog. <laughs> Let's go. Not sure we can say that on <laughs> Oh god, she's obnoxious. She's obnoxious like a real shock DJ. Don't challenge his intelligence. Oh, he's gonna obsess over this. This is... Oh, they worked the journal in. I was gonna say, it's gonna be like the laptop all over again. Ew, don't eat that. Okay, never mind, you don't have to eat it. Don't touch it. Oh, oh no, Waddle's hungry. I like how he sleeps in bed. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no. Cryptology. Waddles is gonna become intelligent. Do we want this? Is this something we want? The digits of pi are 3.1, yeah. What? That's awesome. I love it. Have you been possessed by the spirit of a nerd? <laughs> I understand that transformation may be vexing, but I have prepared a present. Oh, who, what voice is that? Forgive me. 
My pig arms are cute and useless. Right! The pig goes oi! The pig goes oi! <laughs> now, the pig goes wherever he can shine the light of knowledge. Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I am loving this new one. Going from yeah, speaking through the electronic to oinking. <laughs> oh, Sorry, Mabel. That worked. Oh my god, that looks he looks so cute. Amazing. You and me should go and vent stuff. No. Waddle, don't you want to stay up here and record some Oh, uh, Waddle's not going to be fun anymore. Mabel, this pig's got a gift. He needs to share it with the world. I'm sorry, Mabel. There is more to life than making fart noises and <laughs> laughing at those fart noises. Oh. I see that now. Aww. <laughs> Mabel lost her friend. You guys just go on without me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I laughed. Damn it. Oh, my kite got stuck in a tray. I hate everything. Right? I, I love Waddle's oh, little here. little mobile device here. No, you need training for that probably. Yeah. See? Probably shouldn't launch that in the middle of a forest. Amazing. Don't forget the laser gun we made for candy. That's to my enemies. Stop giving them dangerous things. Oh, there's no hog. Coping with crippling loneliness after losing my co-host. Oh, that seems to be the theme here. She had, she had that keyed up. You're not happier like this, are you? Potatoes, delicious potatoes. Hmm. Yummy, yummy for my fat little pig tummy. That was unsettling. Mabel, I didn't like that. Just in time to behold our greatest achievement. The heck? Smarticle accelerator. Smarticle accelerator. Waddles will be able to solve all the greatest puzzles of the universe. Oh. The origin of life. The meaning of existence. Why dudes have nipples? Soon you're he doesn't need more. We need to he stop this. Scientists, presidents, best friend. I'm still your friend. Aw. But I'm helping people now. This brain junk has made you forget who you are. Don't you remember us? Oh. Oh. Is she getting to him? Don't forget to remember those times. Just remember. What a jam. Uh, well, that's. I don't know what the point of that is, but. Oh, he sees ears. sense now. What good is helping the world if I can't help my favorite person in the world? <gasps> it's a good thing I built in a dum dum switch. Aww. He chose to go back. Waddles, Waddles, don't. Wait. He chose to go back. I'm sorry, Dipper. In my last eight seconds of consciousness, that I is fantastic. Also, I miss getting my tummy. Aww. <laughs> Same. Oh, Aww, that's cute. He chose to go back. I respect no, that. Our invention. I know what will make you feel better. A simple hug from a simple pig. Yeah. He's probably a really good hug. So. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> it's probably all soft and good pig. Cuddly. You know what? You're right. Don't bite. <laughs> he's but such I a cute little face. I love it. Oh. No shooting in the house, sweetie. But perhaps <laughs> I could eat Ooh, look at the fairy. Movies are great. You watch the movie, mm -hmm. you scare the girl, mm -hmm. the girl snuggles up next to you, mm -hmm. next thing you know you gotta raise a kid, your life falls apart. Okay, okay, you went you went a little too Play far there. Day. Clay day? Is this oh I thought it was gonna be a claymation episode. Damn. No, you did it, Oh, I hate it. Everything about this is bad. Well, that just put me 90 minutes closer to death. Stan is so morbid sometimes. The Voyages of Loin Clothicles? Hey, it's like Jason and the Argonauts in the old Clash of the Titans. Love those. Love the animation. Well, your sister's broken. Oh, Grunkle Stan, I should have told you before, but Mabel has a childhood terror of timey stop motion animation. Dude, I love the old timey stop motion. Love it. Those hokey old things. How scared could she be? Mm, I love the Medusa in Clash of the Titans. There's gotta be a way to get her over this. Clash of the Genres? Harry Claymore. Huh. <laughs> oh. 
That's a cool looking house, not gonna lie. To show her the models are fake. Maybe she'll finally calm no, these things are alive. Harry Claymore is some kind of recluse. Man wants his privacy. I can respect that. Yeah, and you're gonna break in. Well, everyone over the fence. <laughs> See, Mabel, those monsters are just tiny clay figures. This is a, uh, a house of grappling hooks. Those people are called animators. <laughs> <gasps> See, Mabel? Look. It's all just special effects. He's all cool. Can come out. No. Kid, listen to me. For the last I love how she's in a hamper. Nothing here to be afraid of. Yo! Oh, that's awesome! Oh, I love how that looks against against the, the animation of the show. At us. What just oh, that is fantastic. Oh, I'm getting so I'm getting such nostalgia watching this oh that looks so fantastic oh, oh this is wonderful oh no Harry Harry master of special effects my effects are more special than you know what oh such a fantastic blended uh, mix of animations someone moves these figures one frame at a time yes I'm not a masochist. I use black magic to make them animate themselves it was great at first but one day the stop motion is uh, you gotta respect it you gotta respect stop motion animators now that they were out of work, oh boy they, they pissed and now they will turn you into unholy beasts of clay. Well, Mr. Pines, at least you finally get to work with your favorite director. And by work, I mean suffocate inside a big wad of clay. Still work. Oh, oh. Mabel, gotta oh, overcome. Make your own. Make your own. Make your own monstrosities. Into something I like. Whoa. I think I have an idea. Yeah. Hey, what Duh, he looks so great. Yeah, that wasn't nice. Okay. <laughs> Wipe that face off your face. Oh no! Oh, I've got big plans for you. <laughs> what is she doing? It's playback time! Of course. Of course she did. Dude, you conquered your fear. That's right. I love the sunglasses. Mabel, you did it. So you're not scared anymore? Oh, I'm scared twice as much now. But now I know it's rational. <laughs> I'm sorry, I doubted you. You were right. Her fear has I some, you know, like she said, rationality to it. Incredibly expensive. Because these things are alive. This is an impressive Ew! I'm glad I'm facing towards it. No, I want to see. Yeah, that was the best part. <laughs> Too expensive. Aw, creature with an unreasonable amount of heads. I'm just glad none of us got turned into clay. Woo. Holy Toledo! Oh, He's like Gumby. I can walk through walls. Oh. We're safe now, kids. Safe. We're safe. I don't get it. Want the pig. You don't want my tapes. What are you gonna buy? No. Uh, delicious potion. Ooh. Here, have a free sample. Thank you. Oh my God, Stan, what have you done? You bought my merch when you had the chance. Oh, that's unsettling. But that's okay. I'll have something new for sale very soon. Oh, that's creepy. Oh no, Stan, what have you done? The latest attraction, the legendary cheapskate. Uh, don't worry about it. Okay, that is. Oh, that is horrible. Stan, no. That's right, I'm a jerk. At least he admitted it. Hey, I wanted to be exes. Let me be exes. Oh my god. Just let her be exes. Yay! Poor cheapskate. Dude, Stan just kidnaps somebody and false and and is imprisoning them. It's backwards. I don't think you're playing this right. Th th this. Oh my god, Stan could go away to prison for many, many years for this. Alright. That was. That was something. Alrighty, yeah. It, see, th that one was. It was fun. It was fun. Uh, definitely not 
my favorite episode. Uh, I don't know. While I did like have fun with it, you know, I laughed. You know, there's a lot of enjoyable things in this one. Uh, I don't know. It just something fell off about that one. I don't know what it was. Like, like I said, I I liked it. Like I said, even like a okay episode of Gravity Falls is pretty good. But I I know what it is. You know what it is, and I. It's not necessarily a knock on the episode itself and the contents of the episode. I think what it is, it's like the first four episodes, they threw so much story, right? Like main story, like main lore. So much of that stuff in the first four episodes. And you're on this like high now. Like, you know, you're getting all this answers to the mysteries. They just keep making things more intriguing. And then they kind of give you, you know, the Seuss episode and then this one. And I get it. They have 20 plus episodes in this season, I believe. You know, you can't make every episode this super story heavy, lore heavy, you know, type of content. You know, you got to fill out your episode order. You know, there's only so much story you can tell. You got to spread it out a little bit. But I don't know. I think they, um, I think they probably maybe like went a little too hard too early this season because now like, like I said, after episode four, you're like, holy crap. Like, stuff has gone down, right? You know, you, you did a Bill episode, and, you know, Bill's our main villain, right? And and then you have these two ones. You know, granted, I did like the Seuss better, uh, episode better than this week, this one here. Uh, but again, this one had some fun stuff. I did like it. Uh, the hand one was whatever. I wasn't too... That one was okay. Like it had some moments. I did appreciate the, the actual like part where they go into the cave and the, all the hands are just kind of like everywhere. That looked really cool. That was neat. Uh, the second one was kind of whatever too. I, the whole, the whole idea of a Waddles becoming intelligent is kind of a cool idea, and I liked that he was speaking through, uh, you know, you know, a voice speaker. That was kind of neat. Uh, but ultimately, I felt like that kind of one just went nowhere. You know what I mean? Like, it just, like, except for, like, you know, Mabel, you know, uh, Waddles, you know, choosing, you know, fun, goofy times with Mabel over being the smartest creature in the world, right? Uh, So that was a nice little thing that happened. But the third story was the best of the three, in my opinion. Um, you're, 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 You're finding a way to my heart when you're showing, like, old... Hollywood-esque stop motion animation. Like like I said, you know, I talked about Clash of the Titans and Jason and the Argonauts and the, like that. I, I love that stuff. I love those movies. And so kind of seeing that animation brought into the world of Gravity Falls, they blended them so nicely and seeing that contrast was really cool. So that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. But ultimately, these are just, you know, these were things that kind of just really had no bearing on the overall narrative. There were, there was just fun, goofy Halloween tales um this show has done horror and halloween much better in other episodes than this one uh so by far so right you know what this is probably the weakest episode of season two up to this point uh through six episodes but ultimately again i had fun with it like i said a mediocre episode of gravity falls is still a lot of fun uh just not you know just doesn't hold up it's not it's, it's not on the quality of of many other many other episodes that are like it. Uh, when I say that, I mean like filler, like the filler episodes. You know what I mean? There's much better filler episodes than this one. But yeah, so, you know, listen, not every single episode is going to be a uh, freaking home run, right? But like I said, still an enjoyable one. I had fun with it, and that's all that matters. Uh, but yeah, folks, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching with me. Thanks for experiencing Gravity Falls with me. It's been a whole lot of fun. Uh, if you're new here, uh, I got a lot of Gravity Falls reactions, so you can find the playlist on my channel page from Season 1, Episode 1, up to, up to this point. So there's a lot of content you can binge and catch up on if you want to. Uh, that would be really great. But uh, folks, have yourselves a great day, and I will see you in the next one. So long and bye.